Oh, <laughs> I can't drive by without saying hi. What's up, man? No, How you don't get a soda. You know, you watch these UFC fights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I rode by a minute ago. I was like, man, that looks like Bryson. <laughs> <laughs> I, was right off, I, came back, I was like, fuck this, Bryson. I got to go say hi. Well, yeah, yeah. If there's a drum going on, it's me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a cool little setup here. Yeah. Yeah, just making some YouTube such. Smacked into a tree. Oh, shit. When would you do that? <laughs> like on this first flight, yeah. <laughs> I made it out, though. Yeah. Saved it. That's a plus. Yeah. You all riding bikes? Huh? All riding bikes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do a couple miles a day in the evening. At least try to lose this fucking weight. Yeah, my cousin's doing that again. I, I told him, I was like, I need to start doing that again. Good for you. It is good for you. I was, me and my wife were doing it for a while. We yeah, need to so get back into it. Married, man. Congratulations. Yeah, well, I mean, we've been common law for like 20 years. We've been together forever anyway. We've been common law for like 20 years, and we were like, ah, oh, what the fuck ever. But my daughter's senior year is this year, oh, yeah. and she's yeah, a cheerleader. Yeah, well, they're the same day. But she's a cheerleader, and they have senior day. And my wife said, uh, I'll be a hasty by the time your senior day comes around. That's awesome. So man. that's kind of the whole point behind it all. Or else, if if that wasn't happening, we'd probably just wait till Braden became a senior right. or something. Who knows? That's but, wild, but yeah, it's awesome, though. It's crazy that they're that old now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's about to turn 18. It's fucking insane, really. Uh -huh. I remember the day they were being born and where it worked. Yeah. Fucking nuts. Yeah, All yeah. Right, we'll see ya. You too. You guys may wonder why I don't ever really show my good flights. and I've got tons of them. It's because I don't have any good flights. And I don't have tons of them. <laughs> At least not to me. I have better flights than what you guys see. But I usually only turn the video camera on and record on my first couple packs. My exploratory packs, if you will. Uh, where I'm just kind of getting to know the place. And the rest of the time is just spent practicing. I'm going to start making actual flight videos. Like good flight videos once I reach a certain pinnacle. And start doing consistently certain things. And I think I'm a pretty decent pilot compared to some other pilots. But I've been at this building drones and flying for a long time. I mean, I've been doing it since the beginning. But, like I said a hundred times, I was out of the hobby. Like, be in it for a year, out for two. In it for a year, out for two. In it, you know what I mean? Like, I, so I've never consistently stuck with it. And then right now, I've, I've been kind of thinking, you know, seeing all these other people, kind of thinking to myself, man, if I'd have just stuck it out, I'd be freaking killer by now. But I never did. So I'm just having fun with it now. You know what I mean? Going out, flying, having a good time, and uh, enjoying myself. It's not about making videos. Uh, mainly what I like to make is just informational videos for people like about the batteries and such and I've got I'm actually writing a script for the DJI video that I'm gonna make because there's a lot of misinformation out there a lot of misinformation from people like Bardwell and other big YouTube influencers and it's frustrating to see all the misinformation that they're putting out, all because they're fanboys. They're, they're big fans of, it, of DJI. They're big, humongous fans of the, the products that they make and stuff. And so for some reason, that makes it good and okay. And there's a lot of other information behind it. And then there's another guy who said something along the lines of, uh, there's an Amer American drone company behind this bill that's coming out trying to ban DJI. And... I mean, of course, you're going to have other companies getting behind it and supporting it because it's only going to make them money in the end. But the, it, not, none of it has anything to do with the actual legitimateness of it and the geopolitical reasons why companies like DJI and TikTok are being considered to be banned in the United States. It actually has nothing to do with the free market. It has nothing to do with certain people just being ignorant to, to FPV or drones in general or anything like that. Um, that are pushing this ban and stuff. It actually ha happens to do with something way, way bigger than that. And it happens to do with geopolitics. And 
the very and i heard bardwell say the other day like we've always had a good relationship with china i mean they make half of our stuff like just because we import a lot of products from there because china makes things cheaper than anybody else doesn't mean that we actually have a good relationship with them and it's never meant we've had a good relationship with them like it that doesn't go hand and i mean that doesn't make sense just because you get imports products you automatically are best buds with them or something like Joshua Bardwell's ignorance to geopolitics actually makes his whole argument for the support of DJI, which I don't really care what you guys do. I don't support DJI and I never will. But he's spreading a lot of inf misinformation. A lot of people are spreading a lot of misinformation, which are getting people I, see, I read in the comments like, oh, it's just stupid. It's just this person trying to make more money than that person and all this different stuff. And it has nothing to do with any of that. It just drives me up the wall. So I'm actually trying to put something together that you guys can check the uh, references and stuff too. Uh, but honestly, if they ban DJI tomorrow, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. I don't own any DJI stuff. So <laughs> it makes no difference to me. I haven't invested into it. And I haven't invested into it because I've learned about DJI a long time ago. And I refuse to give my money to a company like that. So that's just, and I'm not trying to be on a moral high horse. I don't care if you've invested all your money into DJI and you love it. That's your bag. That's what you like. No, that's cool. I'd fly it if somebody came around and like had a DJI. I'm just not going to spend my own money on it. I'd like to try it just to, just to try it out. Just to see what it's like comparatively. But I'd never put my own money into it. Ah, I hit a tree on that last one. I don't even know. Honestly, if I want to put out the DJI video, only because people like get tribal when it comes to politics and when it comes to their favorite things, their favorite products and stuff. I mean, nothing shows more than that than uh, one of the last videos that I made about the China Hobby Line Black Series. I had tons of comment, comments from people saying that their batteries did the exact same things mine did. In fact, way more saying that they did than didn't. And you still had those people on there that are fanboys. And one guy got on there and was like, all lies. And it's like, dude, there's like 50, 50 comments of people saying that they had the same problem. They won't buy them because they're crap. You know what I mean? It's not like everybody's out there just to lie about your favorite battery. You know, like you're having good luck at it. That's good for you. I'm glad you're having success with it. You know what I mean? I'm glad it's a battery that you like. But it doesn't mean everybody's lying. And that's the problem with this hobby. That's why I always tell people I don't think it's a hobby. We, I don't think it's a community that we wish it was. Or that a lot of people like think the hobby is. Whoa, what was that? I totally didn't roll over the way that I wanted to. But like I said, it's, it's, we don't have a hobby. We don't have a hobby community the way people kind of portray the community to be. It's just not the way people say it is. So. Ooh, I didn't flick back at all on that one. I don't know what's going on there. That first one was so snappy. I watched a video one time of this guy talking about like the reasons why I fly FPV and like he's like everybody's out there just trying to help each other. Everybody's out just trying to help each other and the feedback's always positive and stuff. I'm like man I don't know what type of videos you've been watching but it's never been like that. Like it's it's usually like 80-20 uh, positive. But the ones that are negative are pretty nasty. And it's usually just fanboys. Like you say something about something somebody likes. And they're fanboying out all over the place and, and hating on you for it. But that's what the internet is for. I mean, that's what the internet's been for for a while now. Anonymous shit talking. Ten. 
I was trying to ride up that wall, see if that, ooh, got a little bit of wash out there. Didn't like that. I pump my, I don't know if anybody else pumps their throttle the way that I do. I had another guy get on one time and, and was like talking shit because of the way that I pump my throttle. It's just something I've always done. I'm used to doing it that way. It helps to keep stability. He said, you're pumping your throttle like a, like a basketball. 30 seconds. Who cares? I watch other people pump their throttle like a basketball too. 20 seconds. What's over Nine, here? Eight, seven, six, Let's go behind my five, head here a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Time or two elapsed. I don't know why this one just... Let's see how far it goes. I've been on one foot this whole time because I was like standing comfortably while I was talking. And then I just started flying and I don't like flying without here. Well, I'm going to try to go straight. There we go. Get on both feet. I was about to fall over. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time of three elapsed. Damn. So, I put that China Hobby Line video out, and a lot of people having the same problems. A lot of people having the same problems. Some of you guys out there go, this is what you're doing wrong. You know, all that bullshit. Or another guy was like, all lies. And it's like, dude, it's like all these comments here, and only like two are positive towards China Hobby Line. So, it ain't all lies. Everybody ain't lying to you. <laughs> like, I'm glad you're having a positive experience, but nobody's lying to you. But I think I've gotten to the point where I'm going to just order Z battery from here on out. Z battery is going to be my main battery. And there are FPV pilots. I've never seen any FPV pilots sponsored by Z, but I've seen China Hobby Line sponsoring a lot of FPV pilots. So that could be a huge thing too, is defending your sponsorship and like some of the comments said uh they burn their batteries up before they ever go bad because batteries don't last very long with them and if you're ripping harder than shit and burning your batteries <laughs> like i get it there's some people who probably are defending them because you know they're sponsored they get them all the time and they're racing on them and they're burning the shit out of them uh before they ever go bad but for us casual flyers who don't just rip it to to the limit every single time. We like having our batteries last more than a month or two. It's nice.
my punch outs are like not what they were before. I don't know if it's these props, these new props that I got on or what, but it just feels different. It was a whole lot tighter. That's fun. <laughs> 